Hi guys, welcome to round 16's dissection. Let's, uh, let's get straight into the questions. Uh, the first one's from Lucy. Dimmer must be pleasing that we kick five goals, three to two goals, four from stoppages. That's a good pickup, uh, which include us kicking three goals from forward 50 stoppages for the game. Do we do a lot of work on this at training? Um, look, we do do a little bit of work on it. It's surprising how there's so much to cover in the, the game of AFL footy. There's, there's certain things we cover off in certain weeks where we think we may get an advantage. Um, we did speak about uh, the game v the Saints. We thought we might be able to get a couple of goals from forward 50 stoppages. But it's based purely on more so, not so much the, the setup itself, but a couple of uh, patterns that we ran and a couple of setups that we tinkered with a little bit. So we're really pleased with um, how that eventuated. You know, this one here is obviously a good example of a scrimmage goal from that situation. But uh, look, it was pleasing to kick all those goals from stoppages. It hasn't been a great strength of ours this year. We've been very good at restricting the opposition, um, but they certainly are good, good goals when you do get them because basically it's a, it's a set play opportunity. So yeah, whilst we haven't been practicing it a great deal, but um, over the course of the months, we do tick them off all at various stages. So good result for us. Uh, structures to combat teams on the run from Simon I think it's pronounced Chow. Uh, what structures do you have in place when Oppo sides have a run on in the fourth? The run on in the fourth is pretty much the same whether it happens in the first, second or fourth. Uh, or third, sorry, I should say, from that situation. Generally, the players, are, uh, they know what setups are required at various stages. Obviously, if it's in the last probably minute of the game, we'll probably put 16 players behind the ball or thereabouts to, to make sure we negate that. But um, there's certain things we do when sides do get a run on. Probably the disappointing thing from ours is we spoke to our players today. We had a seven minute patch where I think we got beaten in contested ball like two to 12. Um, contested ball is basically those critical contests, you versus the opposition. Um, normally, you obviously, I think we're AFL number two overall in that stat, but we're really disappointed with that area of our game. Uh, and we also turned over the ball a couple of times. I think Grimesy had a a mistake he would not, wouldn't normally make with a kicking skill. Uh, we had a cough up across half back with uh, Nathan Gordon that gave him two goals, and uh, and Hammer dropped the mark inside, uh, just inside centre half forward there, which went back for another goal also. So, while some things are defensive in nature, some of them, uh, the goals against us were were offensive in nature, which was disappointing. But but basically it comes down to. Uh, momentum and you winning those critical contests when they're called upon. So we we're disappointed with that part in that period of the game, but we, uh, we went through that today with the players. Uh, were you happy with Ben's output for the game? Uh, look, we were. If, uh, if you had said to me before the game that Ben would finish up with three goals, I'd, I'd certainly take that. Um, he competed okay. Defensively, he's got some work to do. That's probably the area that we've got to still work with Ben. Um, he's understanding the uh, consistency that we're after and the work rate required. Uh, most under 18 players come in with a similar, uh, similar probably lack of defensive knowledge uh, without being too disrespectful to those players coming in. But it's the one thing we probably train pretty heavily and he, he's starting to understand how we play the game a little bit better too, Ben. So I was really pleased for him to, to kick three goals. You know, we took him at pick 12 last year. We're looking forward to him being a, a very solid contributor. Uh, he played a little bit on the wing as well, which we've trained him on because we don't want him to be a, a forward by, uh, by position. So he's going to improve again. He'll start to get used to the, the pace of the game. The one thing that is really hard to replicate at VFL level is the pace of AFL football. Um, you know, young Mac McDonough was a little bit the same. Probably the pace of the game caught them out a little bit. So it's going to take a couple of weeks for those guys to, to get in the gist of the speed of the game. So look, hopefully... They get another opportunity this week, but unfortunately with players coming back, it's hard to say uh, who will go in and who will go out. So overall, we're pleased with the performance somewhat of both of those players to come in. Uh, important game this week, obviously Saturday twilight game, I think it is from memory at the G. So we implore all our fans to get there. Really great to have you know 45,000 for Maddie's game last week, it was a it was a fantastic crowd involvement. Um, you know, it was a good game towards the end. We probably wish we did it a little bit easier, but um, we're looking forward to getting back to the G this week, and hopefully, we can get sixty thousand or forty to sorry fifty thousand people there to the G would be a fantastic result versus Frio. And make sure you cheer us over the line because uh, there's no doubt you guys make an enormous difference uh, to us when we come home. So, look forward to seeing you at the G. Look forward to uh, you making some noise. Speak soon.